So cheers to the clubhouse, because they uh, wanted to see how we shot on that hole. Because we're going for the course record, baby, which is six under, we're currently five. No. Well, I could have my first hole in one. Oh. Is that gone in? You're kidding me. Halfway there, I thought it was in. I hit it too hard and I knew it. That would help. That would be it square. I opened it up just slightly, like... Just like that. T200 tightness again. Extra stiff graphite hazardous shaft. That's going in. Turn. Turn. Oh! We get the big dog out again. I'm going for the green, isn't it? Yes, Swiggers, it's Matt from Swig Golf, and today we're at the beautiful Hereford Lakes Golf Club down in Surrey. One of my favourite courses, actually, in Surrey, and very underrated. Bit of wind today, which makes it quite challenging, but follow me, and we're going to shoot the full 18. Comment below what you think I'm going to shoot. Let's give it a swig. Bardas. All right, 367. You can't go at the green because you've got water in front of it. We're going to take the trusty two iron, draw it in off of those bunkers, play it to about 270, and leave... 100 yards in. Let's play a bit of a stinger one just for the uh, the tracer. Like that. That should be money. Oh, she's perfect. That's a lovely start. Lovely strike. Start as we mean to go on, people. Let's fucking go. So, I thought we were just going to play a little short 56 because the pin's at the front. If it was in the middle, I'd probably play a gap wedge and just keep it a bit lower and run it up and spin it in. But a bit of the fluffy stuff, and it needs to get up and down. So, a bit little 56 in there, a little three-quarter one. Spin this in close. Go. Ah, oh, lovely. That's a great shot. Happy with that. But don't forget, we've still got the Spain competition live. If you haven't, make sure you watch the video from Hindhead. Sensational golf, by the way. Probably the best video we've shot. Only two videos in, but sensational golf. Get yourself on there. Make sure you come out to Spain. I want to see you there playing me and the rest of the swig team. We left ourselves outside 20 feet here, which is uh, not great from that distance. But again, a bit of wind. Didn't give myself many options with the pin at the front. Had to play it sort of higher, but let's give this a good roll. Try and start with a bird. Just need one bird to go and we'll start getting hyperactive. Go. Simple par. We'll take it. This course is actually sensational. There's so many par fours reachable in one. If the wind's kind to us, we can go super, super, super low today, 100%. All right, steady little par on the first. 164, par three, hole number two. Pretty straightforward shot, although we've got a little bit of breeze into. It's 164 yards. Try and keep an eight iron nice and low. Pins bang center in the middle. That's a pin seeker. Keep going. That's a great shot. That's 10 feet. That's feet. definitely giving us another chance for a naughty par. Where's Josh Kelly at? Oh, bang! <laughs> yeah, that's a lovely shot, that. Played that perfect. I mean, I would have liked to have kept it a bit lower, to be fair, because of the wind, but it's worked out OK. Soft greens, these, as well. That's why we shot well at Hindhead the other day, because we had a load of rain, and um, the greens were soft. Still yet to do a little aim point lesson, but if you've done any, let me know what you think about aim point and whether it's worth doing. Because some people swear by it and some think it's a bit of a scam, so. Coming in. Left to right, left edge, positive stroke. Nothing to lose. Turn. Yes. I didn't think that was turning then. Right. Naughty little start. Lovely little dog leg par four now. 
a mid iron, longish iron today with the wind, straight down the middle of the fairway and then probably 100 yards in. So another birdie opportunity. Some holes are just set up for it and this is one of them. We're gonna take a four iron just because of the wind. Start it over the bunker on the right by the water and draw it round to the one in the centre. And then that should give us a perfect little distance in. Yeah, nice shot, nice. Wait, yeah, I didn't draw it. Perfect. Yeah, perfect. Nice shot. Cut the corner out a bit, which is good. We should have a nice little yardage in. I don't think that's fairway. It might be in the light rough. If the wind has sort of stopped it drawing and it drifted out right slightly, but um, yeah, we'll take it. This episode of Swig Golf was brought to you by Fanta Lemon, the greatest hot drink but cold ever invented. Can't quite work out how far we are because there's no signage, but it's all uphill, so I want to land short at the pin. So I'm going to play it to about 60 yards, keep it low and let it run up. I've got a 50 degree. Normally, no wind. I'll probably play like a 56, even the 60, and just flight it up, but wind across. So I'm going to play this nice and low off the back foot. Keep my hands forward. It's like a large chip from around the green. We expect it to hop once and then stop. Like that. That's perfect. Oh, I just pulled it a little left. But it's a bit more left to right than it probably looks. It's a nice stroke. Go on, hit this thing. The line was right, just didn't hit it. But so we're not going to moan at parts. Stay one under three, three. Tempo golf. You can really get after those holes, to be fair. And from the distances I've had on the first and this hole from the pin, you would expect probably another birdie. We'll get the fans what they want. We're to a two iron stinger. I think everyone loves a stinger. And it's the right shot when there's wind. And um, what I like doing with a stinger is teeing it up a bit higher. A lot of people obviously like to keep the ball lower, to keep the ball quite down. But I like coming down on it and keeping it low with a high tee. But anyway, yeah, we got hole four, par five, 504. Can't be too aggressive if I just said because there's water halfway to the hole. So we'll get this about 270, 280. Give us another long iron into the green, I reckon. By the way, this is the only tailor-made item I have in my bag. Extra stiff graphite P790 hazardous shaft. Absolute winner, game changer. Saved me shots this year, this. Stinger draw. That's perfect. Oh, that's lovely, that. That was actually a bit higher than I wanted to play it. There's a great strike. Come on, the boys. We played it where we normally play it with a three wood, which is what we take on this hole. Strong win into, and we still got 238 to the pin, so picked up the little three iron. T200 tightness again, extra stiff graphite, hazardous shaft. Try and get this one up on the front. The pin's at the front here, so even if we're a little bit short due to the wind. Should be a nice up and down for a bird. All right, nice little swing of a three iron. Keep it low. Get it up there. I've actually pulled that really far left as well. I might have killed someone. Oh, Maddie boy. Look at that. I'm on another tee box and the green is over this hill. So Marco, get yourself up there and show me where the pit is. Oh, 
Oh my God. I see you running off and I was like, it's got to be good. I should get the putter, shouldn't I? Really? I'm going to miss it. Yes. Mate, what an up and down that is. That's like one of those unbelievable shots that people wouldn't believe. But there's a course marshal there speeding up play, so he would have told us off. What a shot. What a hole. Two under. Rick Shields. Yes, hole five, two under, 371. First time we can let the big dog eat. TSR three, extra stiff. I can never pronounce this. It's the tenth side. Extra stiff. Graphite shaft again. Unreal club. I'm excited with this golf shot because I haven't hit a driver today. Big dogs come to eat finally. Drop this from the inside and play a nice little draw. Like that. Oh, don't drift in the wind. Don't drift in the wind. It's over the bunk on the right, but we're in the long stuff. Why are you not listening to the wind? Rushed golf. Just didn't listen to the wind. Did not listen to the wind. Anyway, tag Rick Shields and everything. My Instagram, my YouTube. Make him have it. I'll have it out of him. I've got that much power, I've knocked over this absolute length of a fucking footpath sign. This is horrible though, look, get on that line. It's gonna catch the club when you go through. And you've got to come steep on it because you've got the long grass behind. Green, the pin's in the middle of the green, which does help. And we've probably only got, how far do you reckon we got the nipper? 75? Yeah, 85 points. So we've got two options. You play a 56 and get in there, get into it deep and send it up high and stop it. Or you try and play a 50 a bit lower and run it up. What would you play? 56. You've got to be careful because if you touch the grass, the ball's going to fucking fly out. All right, open up the club face slightly. That would how that would be at square. I open it up just slightly, like five, ten percent. Grip down the shaft. Open up your left foot. It's come a bit steeper on it. Can't be the number. That's a great shot out of that. Stay there. The only thing you have to consider as well when you play this is you have to play it shorter because it's always going to roll out. You won't get the spin because you won't get the grip of the grooves when you're playing it out of that. So um, that rolled on a little bit. Naturally, out of the, the fairway, it probably would have spun back down that hill off the green. Oh. Firm uphill park, right to left. I can visualise that line. Did any of you play the Tiger Woods game on the um, PS when you are growing up? Sensational game. Probably the best game ever invented, bar FIFA. But you used to get the putt in line, and it would give you like the line of where the putt would break and go to. I always try to visualise that line when I putt. It gives me a good read. And then it's about staying firm. So from here, just outside right. So probably two balls right from the, maybe a bit more from this half a foot and then it doesn't break as much at the end so true roll come on make another bird if you hit the goddamn thing that goes in the hole hit it be positive hit it Right, another par. Love this little par three. 127 yards over water. Pins in a lovely little spot here. We're gonna try and land one behind the pin and spin it back. Wind off the left. Yeah, it's such a nice shot, nice strike. This is a safe play, isn't it? Leave myself eight foot for a birdie on a little par three. Got to be closer than that, Matt. Right, again, another little outside chance of bird. 
From that distance, I should be closer than this. Still quite far out, so uh, let's give it a nice roll. Left to right brake. Got what had a chance. I thought that had a chance. By the way, we're basically in October and it's t-shirt weather in the UK. Sensational. I don't really, um, well, I never actually played golf this time last year. So I wouldn't know if I uh, like playing in the winter in the UK, but I've decided I'm not gonna like it and I'm going to Spain. So that's how you get chances to come out to Spain and play with me. Look at the big dog out again. I'm going for the green, isn't it? All right, old seven, two under, par four. Never take a driver on this hole. It's always the long iron. But we've got wind into today. Just going to cruise a little driver down there. <laughs> That's perfect. Oh. That's why I never normally hit a um, driver because yeah, sometimes you can reach the uh, green, even though it's 350, you hit it well and the pins are forward a little bit. Place 330, you can get right on it to the front. But I would have been in trouble if there was no wind because you've got the fescue in the middle, left and right, there's nowhere to really land it. But we played this bang center of the fairway into the wind, probably got 60 yards, if that. So it's probably played 290 into the wind. So we're going to play a little knock down 60 degree off my back foot, trying to spin one in there because the pin is literally a foot from the front of the green. Oh, stay there. You liked that strike, didn't you, boy? Didn't you, boy? What gets me buzzing about shots like that is they're the shots in the summer that I wasn't re I lost a bit of my way with it when I started playing golf again at the start of the year. This was my money shot, like 70 yards in. A lot of people were scared of them. And then I got really complacent with it. I don't know why or how. So um, anything inside sort of six to eight feet from 100 yards in is the goal. Another part of um, the game I've been working on are these parts, the left to right. Because naturally, I always open up my left shoulder and come across the putting stroke, even though you wouldn't notice it. And it'd just create a little bit of side spin, which naturally means on the left to right putt, I'd have to aim a lot more left to get to go in the, in the hole. So instead, I'd just square my shoulders off and keep the natural arc coming in. Try and keep it square. So there's two shots I'm working on. If I can hold this, I'll be super happy. Just like that. That, I'm not even joking. I know I'm three under and it's another birdie, but that just feels so goddamn good because it's the two shots, two parts of the game that I've been working on, the left to right part and that little wedge shot from 70 yards in and I've just up and downed it. That's sensational. Feels, I can't even swear, but it feels fucking fantastic. This is a 295 par four. So again, another easy birdie makeable hole and if it wasn't for the tube we would just be playing a little seven iron maybe a six iron down here to 200 and giving ourselves 95 yards in maybe even a four iron a bit less but because you've patiently watched and got to this point where we're three under i'm going to be giving it a good old whack with the driver and trying to get this onto the green and eagle it to try and go five under through the front eight holes i mean the back nine is a lot more challenging You'll see as we get onto there, it's not as scorable. Um, so stay tuned because there's some really hard holes and we're going to get really creative with some shots. Right at that middle bunker. That could be in the hole. If it's got the legs, ah, oh, drifting. Oh, we're on oh the green. Oh my God, what a shot. I haven't hit a par four in one for a long time. 
I haven't really played any that have been short enough to have a go at. But this, we got a little clap from the group in front as well. And then we had a group watching us off of uh, the tee box that were on the other path. Definite birdie chance. If we free putt this, which is one of the goals, again, not to free putt, then we're absolutely laughing. All right, these ones are all about getting them close, giving them a chance, but more importantly, keeping it inside three feet, which is where you make your money. It's pretty straight until the end. So let's just get the pace right here. Try and walk away with another bird. Go on, go on. Just tell you what, if I hit that a little harder, that was in the hole. Perfect line. Sometimes those longer putts are easier to get right because all you want to do is focus on getting them close. There's another bird. That takes us to four under through eight holes with a ninth par five to play, not really reachable in two. It's good to shoot low on the front. So as I said, the back's really tricky. And you'll see, I'll be struggling in this wind on, them back, on that back nine. So we want to keep it low, then keep it together on the back. If you've not played Pierford before, get yourselves down here. It's a um, great little track, I'm sorry. Greens are normally in great nick. Yeah, so there's a little par five, hole nine, massive dog leg. You can't really cut out this corner because the wind's coming directly across. So we're just going to smack one right down the middle, lay up and then try and get a 100 yard pitch right in close to the pin. Try, try a little cutty one on this. Or just keep it dead straight. Stay there. Yeah, that's fine. Um, anyway, we're a bit lucky here. I mean, it's about a 320 rollout to this. I don't know how it's carried that in the wind, but we're very lucky it hasn't gone down into here. We see it bounce just sort of over the top of the bunk and kick right, so I think we got a bit lucky. There we go, so punch a little seven iron down there. Just as, as a layup. You can see the green over the water is too far, even with a good lie, especially with that drive. So let's punch this down there. Like, like that. Right, we're guessing we got about 130-ish. So I'm just gonna play a really soft nine iron, like a little punchy one. Let's try and get this one close. Yeah, we'll take that. I think that's what, 10 feet? Maybe a bit more. I never really liked this hole, just because I think it could be better. I say that because it's hard. I'll say that, the putting's been better today. My putting's been off recently. Even at um, Hindhead, we shot really well. But if the putt was a bit warmer, we couldn't have um, played a lot lower. But there you go, take another par. We finished the front nine four under, and I want you to guess or comment below how you think I'm gonna shoot on the back nine, which is a lot harder, a lot windier. Don't cheat, don't go watch, rewind, and then comment. Comment right now, right here, and whilst you're at it, please make sure you like, subscribe, turn on your notifications for more videos, because the next videos are gonna be either you and your friend in Spain playing with me, or they're gonna be playing in the UK. That's me and Meatball. Pick up yourself. Yes, people, uh, four under, we're on to hole 10 on the back nine. Uh, it's 147 from the white, so back here I'm assuming it's 160 into the wind, probably playing 175, 180. So we've got a seven iron. Well, I could have my first hole in one. Go on. 
Stack on in. Why flag? do I do that every time? Is like, it the flag? It had a, a little bonk. What a shot. That could be a hole in one. I'm not I, even I joking. I think that's it. I can't see it, but it's like land. Is that? It's slam dunk, mate. If that's caught in the hole, I'm jumping in that water. Get yourself up there now. So we just had confirmation from the people in the other tee box that it did, in fact, bounce, hit the pin, and spin back. But we've only got probably about six, seven feet. What a shot. I actually generally thought. You'll see from the, uh, Instagram, if you don't follow me, Matt underscore swig underscore golf. But um, that is just absolutely nuts. Like, I've always gone like this. Oh my God, it's in the hole. Is it nearly in? And it never is. But this was that time where we've hit a pin and it's nearly gone in the hole. So good uh, judgment of distance considering the wind. And another good chance to make a birdie here. So very soft. This isn't probably the better of greens. That's here at Pierford. But let's be positive. Let's make another bird and start the back nine. Solid. Come on. Oh my God. Come on, the boy. And cheers to the club elves because they uh, wanted to see how we shot on that hole because we're going for the course record, baby, which is six under, we're currently five. Not. Right, this is going to be a tough hole today because it's going to be playing about 550 yards as a part four. So I require a really good tee shot into the wind down the left side over that bunker left of the pylon. Like that. Sure. That's, money. That's the money shot. All right, we're a little bit left, but we're in the fairway. We've got 175 into the wind, so we've got a seven iron. Try and keep it a bit low. It's basically the same shot we just had into the par three. Maybe a tad more. Try and keep our hands forward. Like that. Come on, turn. Turn. Oh, we're dancing, and I think it's not far away. The ball striking today is just superb. The balance wasn't great there because my feet, one was lower than the other, but quality ball strike. Great, but turn. Oh, gave that chances. Gave that chances. Really happy with my pattern stroke. Another thing I've been trying to work on a bit more. I nearly lit that as well. Gosh. Tell you what, I'll take a par on that all day long. The last time I played here, I played here with the club friend from Kingswood, um, Ian Golding. The improvement in my game from then to now, and it's only been two months, is actually like astronomical. Just little things that I was struggling with. Putting, even though that day my putting was good, 100 yards in, terrible. Just those little improvements make a massive change. And I think not just always going out on a golf course makes sense. Take time to go up there one evening after work or during the morning before you start your morning calls at 6, 7 a.m. Just work on your putting. If you love golf that much and you want to get better, put the time in, put in the practice, work on the stuff that you're not good at. Putting may be boring, it's tedious. But get down there, practice it. Put two pins, two tees, either side of your putter and work on getting it square. Just little things. But we'll put some tutorials out for you to work on. I want all of you to play golf the swig way. It's the only way to play, fearless. All right, par five, hole 12. It's a really annoying par five because for us longer hitters, my driver, on a good day, you can carry the water, but it's about 320-ish to get through that. So we're gonna try and lay up 
play a really soft three wood to 270, maybe 260-ish. Was going to take the two iron, but I love this club and I haven't used it today. So to mix it up, we're going to try and play a little plain riser three wood. Just like that. Perfect. I said a plain riser, and what I mean by that is to go, because it just looks good for the shot trace. We're striking it well, we're playing really well. And as I said, Rick Shields can have it. Really lucky, really lucky, because this is all firm, that we haven't rolled in here, because that's out of bounds and we would have had to take a drop. We're estimating again because we can't work out and I really need to invest in a Bushnell or a decent caddy. But I think we have 170, 180, I'd say. So I'm going to play a seven iron. We've got water in front so and water at the back. So I don't really want to be long or short. So I thought I'd just try and give this a nice swing. You can't really see the green. You can just see the flag. Oh, be the number. Be so good. Be uh, so good. It's bouncing, so I think we're great. <laughs> You're happy with that, aren't you? <laughs> Do you love a lover? Oh, my. Come on, let's have a quick conversation while we've hit another worldie and we're five under. What the best suite is in the UK market? Because America is just so many choices. I'm chucking one out there. Starburst. <laughs> That is poor from you. Skittles. No, you deserve to be fired for that. That is <laughs> horrific. There's so many better sweets out there. Starburst. Unreal. Nah, that's poor. Dolly Ranch is my favourite though. That's American. American. In the UK. Sour Skittles. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, here we go again. How close are we there? Eagle Pup. Oh my god. It's all right. We'll come back to the sweet conversation in two minutes. Bit on this. Bit on that. Go on, walk up to it. Let people see the absolute phenomenon. That is Matt Swig goal. Who needs a sugar rush when you just get a birdie rush, isn't it? Or an eagle rush. We haven't had an eagle in ages, but we fucking owed one. The putter's hot. Five under. Nothing to lose. The green is in phenomenal nick. Worst case scenario, we're guaranteed a birdie here, aren't we? What a shot. It looks like a straight putt as well. Go on, take her out, mate. And the plug. Come on. That's going in. Turn, turn. Oh my God. Oh, you're kidding me. Halfway there, I thought it was in. I hit it too hard and I knew it. I knew it. I knew I hit it too hard. How unlucky is that? More lip than my missus, that. That is a joke. Six under. Absolute squint in Tarantino today. <laughs> so bright, isn't it? Anyway, we're gonna play a little two iron stinger into the wind, because it's directly into the wind. Longish par four. Again, try and get out of here with a blind tee shot, make a par, and then on to the next. That is sensational. Hey, my ball striking recently. It's having all this time off. Anyway, back to the sweet conversation. What are we said. Is he rainbow belts? Yeah, they're up there. And for me, it's anything sour. What about Harry Rose and Tampa? No, that, no. That, that's just such a like easy go-to sweet, isn't it? Let's be honest. I think they're horrific. Do you know what is underrated? The pink and blue fizzy cola bottles. 
Oh, yeah, they're right. You can't beat a sour pick mix, can you? Oh. I would say the best go-to fizzy sweet. I mean, chocolate is out of the equation. M and M peanuts all day of the week. Crispy. Oh, no, no, no. I'm, I'm yellow. I'm, I'm oh. peanuts. Yeah, but blue's like well, that's a woman's sweet. Right, <laughs> oh, got one. I think about one ten. A hundred marks just there. We've given that a good old whack. Um, pins at the front. Tell you what, I'm going to have a headache tonight. The amount of squinting I'm doing. Play a little 50 into that. Squinting fortune. Squinting Morrison, isn't it? Oh. You got the legs. Pass in the hole. <gasps> Mate, I'm throwing darts. It's again the last two rounds. No one's going to believe it because Hindhead we were sensational, although we let it drop for a couple of holes. Today we've not really put a foot wrong. I pulled that shot on the par five, made an unreal up and down. Literally, at the moment, I don't think there's a man alive on YouTube in the UK that could beat me, or America, or the world. Not. <laughs> the inside 12 feet, no? Downhill. Yeah, just on that, Downhill slightly. We know we're definitely going to be making a par, so that's a win-win. Pretty straightforward par. I actually fancy this. I think I've putted from this point before. Come on. Give this a chance. Just didn't read it, did I? Pace was there. Didn't read the line. Could have rushed. I rushed that. I reckon I could have given that a good chance. But we take another part. We stay six under. And we're onto a drivable par four. So yeah, we're going to try and get this right up there. I think I got a bit too much club here, but tee it up a little bit and hopefully the wind stops it. <laughs> oh my gosh! I'm not even joking. Oh what a shot. Just off the back of the green, I thought I had too much club, but we're good. We're on there, we're dry. We can get this close and make another bird and go seven under, baby. All right, so we've got this little mound to contend with. It's a really tight line, but I think we can get anywhere around here. Let it trickle down a little bit. Bounce the other side, didn't it? It's a little left to right, up the hill. It's just off the green as well. Come on. Where's the break? Didn't turn at all. Mate, that's a full pass. What happened when we filmed at Hindhead as well? We got let through a group. Make another part, still sits under, but we get let through a group. And it's like rush golf. That's a poor par from there. Drive the green, chip on too long. Oh. Right, stay. It's always this time of the round that flag. It's where I need to learn to keep it together. I'd really like to break six under today. Give me the encouragement, and I'll bring it home. Your encouragement from Hindhead, all your comments flagging in get me pumped up for it. it definitely helps make videos like this a lot easier so appreciate it appreciate all my subscribers right drivable par four we've got 312 yards hole 15 600 still lovely looking hole this pretty straightforward right come on getting to that point where i start flagging again need to keep the energy high Come on. Jesus Christ. That's green, I think. We've got another little chip. Right, we're, we've carried the front, but it's just rolled off. So we got it to about 312. I didn't quite catch it. 
Right, I'm trying a different shot here. One I've been working on, a little 50 degree gap wedge. I'm going to try and bump it into that hill and then stop it by the pin. Sit. Should be looking good. How, how close is that? Love it. Do you putt with a glove on? If so, you can't be a swigger. And if anyone does, you need to tell them. Another bird. What are we down now? Seven. Seven under. We need to protect that. A tough little um, par four now. Actually, I don't think it is tough. Is this one sh a long no, iron? It's a, it's a good one. Oh. Long iron. OK, and then you've got a little par three, which we're doing well on today. And then the tricky par five. Um, I'm just going to hit a two iron, tee it up a bit higher because I want to hit like a little aeroplane riser down that. Give ourselves 90 yards in. That's the goal. Ah, pulled it left just slightly. We just carried that left hand bunker, no? I pulled that, tired swing. God, don't drop it here. It's what I've done at Hindhead. So it's caught up in this rough. This is a scary shot. Get how sat down that is. And we're over water. Oh, go, son. Go. Oh, we're in the bunker. Tell you what, we got away with that. Got away with that. I didn't catch that clean at all. That was lucky. There you go. First bunker shot for the video. Got to get up and down here. All right, tough bunker shot this because uh, someone else has already been in here today, but um, you've got not much green to work with. So we need to get it up and down and stop. You can see where the ball's rolled in here, just from the top. So I'm going to open this up quite a lot, the club face. We've spoken about how to hit bunker shots before. So, just a little one, nothing fancy. Give ourselves a nice par chance. Oh, it didn't spin right. That didn't check so much. That was, had a proper chance there. Guess on that fish having a little clap of the bunker shot then. left to right, but from this distance, it's firm and straight. Not my quarry. Nice. That's a nice up and down, that. We've been really good today with a short game. Last couple of holes, we've had to, like, scramble a little bit to get up and down, and we have. We'll take that. What are we, seven under still? Yeah. Two, uh, holes, two holes, little par three, and then a tricky par five. I really, really, really want to finish seven under today. Come on. So we've got 151, 160 to where the pin is. Um, into wind slightly. Last par three. The goal for today, as I was getting to just a minute ago, is to make sure we're either even or under par on the par threes, and we're currently two under on the par threes. So let's tick off one box and get this one nice and close. Safe shot, middle of the dance floor by the looks of it. Yeah, pin high, great strike again. The divots are just perfect today, aren't they? Look, nice and square. I'll take that lovely tee shot. Come on, firm strike. Go in. Going. Oh, Mate, we lipped out that eagle as well, didn't we? How? Too much pace. But I don't care, you know, I went through a phase where I just wasn't committing to shots. 
that's another part, seven under still, but um, when I was leaving putt short, and that was the most frustrating thing ever. So to be going past the hole and giving it a chance, I don't mind, it's being positive. Anyway, seven under down to the last par five. You can't hit a long shot and give yourself a short iron in because you've got water again in between. Very tactical golf course. But we're gonna give it a chance. Try and get on the green for two. Finish with a bird, finish eight under. My lucky number eight. Last hole, we've only got four, eight, eight, but as I said, there's water in the front. So we're just gonna hit, I think I've got too much club because it should be just a two iron to lay up. So we're just gonna go really soft, two iron, try and give us a chance to get onto the green and two. I wanna get as far down on this bit as I can. Like that. Very choppy, over the top. <laughs> that is perfect. Look at that. Ball striking's been unreal today. Yeah, and that actually was a poor shot. So any golf critiquers out there, I'll show you what I've done wrong. So the takeaway was a bit early on the inside, opening up the club face. I've been working on keeping it a bit more square on the way back, which is where I've got that. But on the way down, I go over the top, which I got away with because I caught it a little bit centre. But I've been working on coming more on the inside, so dropping down and into it and keeping it more square. But with that one, I was over the top. It was a lovely strike, lovely shot, perfect. And for me, it's mainly the tee box that's messing up my feet more than anything on that, but um, got away with that. We should be able to get to the green in two and hopefully make a birdie and finish minus eight, which would be my second best ever golfing round. Scary one if you don't catch it right, because I've been pulling a few shots today and you've got water all down the left. We are seven under, which is absolutely phenomenal. I'm re actually, I'm buzzing, but not like how Hindhead was. I think it's because I've played this course a few times and I always shoot under par here. So seven under, really, really good. Really happy with it. But let's try and get to eight under. We've got about 235, so I've got a four iron. I think we've worked it out. It's more of a guesstimate. That's the mad thing as well. We've not even had a bush nor or anything today. So anyway, nice strike. I'm going to try and keep it right just because I don't want to pull it. Nice swing. Oh, it's gone a little left. Catch the bunker. Oh, we're okay. Yeah, fine. Right, come on, a little 60 degree up there. And the putter. Bring them both. I don't know how it's missed the bunker, but it has. And I don't know how it's missed the water. It never looked like it was going in the water, though, to be fair. So I'm surprised it's this close. I'm gonna send Marco to the top of the hill with the bunker. It's a very tough chip. Very tight light, it's very stony on this bit. So I gotta make sure I don't catch this thin and go over the back. Sit. We get outside birdie chuck. Don't break that much, Matt, does it? Why'd you give it that much respect? Do you know what I done last minute on the back? Kept my putter straight and then pushed it a little bit because I didn't think I was on the right line. And if I copied, followed the line, we would have been in. But anyway, seven under, fantastic round. I'll say it again. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for, for subscribing. Um, and I look forward to playing with you all soon. Thank you to the beautiful Pierford Lakes for inviting us down here to play today. Um, and on to the next challenge, which is the Shire, coming very soon to your screens. Stay good, stay swigging it, and I'll see you at the top. Ladies.